Θα ήθελα να σε ευχαριστήσω. Ευχαριστώ θερμά. Καλώ ήρθατε. Ένα θερμό καλώ όρισμα στον κύριο Πρωθυπουργό, τον κύριο Μητσοτάκη, αλλά και στην Ελλάδα εν συνόλου για αυτή την επίσκεψη στην Ιαπωνία. Μόλι είχαμε μία συνάντηση με τον κύριο Πρωθυπουργό τη Ελλάδο, μία διμερή συνάντηση όπου ακριβώ μιλήσαμε για αυτέ μα τι σχέσει. Η Ιαπωνία και η Ελλάδα. Όπω και εμεί έχουμε κοινέ αξίε. Για παράδειγμα, είμαστε ναυτικά έθνη. Επιπλέον, ενδιαφερόμαστε για την ναυτική τάξη και αποφελεία των κοινών μα συμφερόντων. Επίση, ξέρουμε ότι υπήρχε μια διασάλευση τη παγκόσμια τάξη μετά την ρωσική επιθετικότητα στην Ουκρανία. Οι σχέσει μα ποτέ δεν ήταν πιο δυνατέ με τον κύριο Πρωθυπουργό, με τον κύριο Μητσοτάκη. Είπαμε πω θα μιλήσουμε πλέον για μια στρατηγική συνεργασία συμπεριλαμβανομένης και της πραγματοποίησης μιας νέας πρωτοβουλίας για την περιοχή του Ινδο Ειρηνικού. Επιπροσθέτως, λάβαμε την ευκαιρία, επευκαιρία μάλλον αυτής της επισκέψεως, εμείς μιλήσαμε για τις εμπορικές σχέσεις, μιλήσαμε και για τους οικονομικούς θεσμούς και υπογράψαμε ένα μνημόνιο συνεργασίας μεταξύ των αρχών τουρισμού. Αναγνωρίζουμε ότι υπάρχει ένα νέο momentum για την ενδυνάμωση των διμερών σχέσεων και σε αυτόν τον τομέα. Συνομολογήσαμε τούτη την συμφωνία και τώρα σε σχέση με τη ρωσική επίθεση στην Ουκρανία συμφωνήσαμε ότι θα συνεχίσουμε να εφαρμόζουμε αυτηρές κυρώσεις έναντι της Ρωσίας. Επίσης, εμείς δεν δεχόμαστε οποιαδήποτε πρενική επιλή από την Ρωσία ούτε και τη χρήση παρόμοιων όπλων. Επίση, συζητήσαμε για διαφορετικά ζητήματα πώ μπορούμε να δράσουμε επωφελία των κοινών μα στόχων και των κοινών μα συμφερόντων. Επιπροσθέτω, στην κοινή δήλωση στρατηγική συνεργασία θα μιλήσουμε για την περαιτέρω ενδυνάμωση τη διμερού μα σχέση. Ευχαριστώ θερμά. Ευχαριστώ θερμά, κύριε Πρωθυπουργέ. Ευχαριστώ eye to eye on key global and regional uh, issues. I'm very happy about the fact that we are signing a joint statement uh, on strategic partnership. Uh, with this statement, our countries are significantly upgrading their strategic relations, and we are inaugurating a close area of cooperation uh, across a spectrum uh, of uh, various uh, uh, different policy areas, political, economic, climate, uh, digital, education, Culture, tourism, uh, and this document that we will be signing is going to be our compass, uh, guiding uh, the development uh, of the full potential of our bilateral cooperation for the years to come. And we had a first opportunity uh, to discuss uh, uh, issues that are of uh, common uh, interest. We've identified great opportunities. Uh, Uh, in the field of economic uh, cooperation, given that Japan is the world's uh, third largest economy uh, and Greece is emerging as a reliable uh, and uh, uh, very predictable investment uh, and trade partner. I had the opportunity to inform the Prime Minister about the progress that we've been able to make uh, as a Greek uh, economy, uh, growing at uh, uh, almost 5.6 percent in 2022, almost double the projected uh, euro area average and being Uh, a most attractive uh, destination for foreign direct investment uh, in the eastern uh, Mediterranean. We had an opportunity to review our excellent cooperation on maritime issues as two of the world's uh, leading uh, seafaring uh, nations. Uh, and as next year 
uh, our two countries will mark 125 years of diplomatic uh, uh, relations. We intend to celebrate our year of culture uh, and tourism with a number of events uh, organized uh, across various cities uh, in Greece and Japan. Uh, the Prime Minister pointed out how dramatically the world has changed uh, in 2022 uh, with the Russian unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, uh, and no one uh, has been left uh, untouched by the turbulence uh, that this act has caused. We exchanged views on Russia's aggression uh, and the next steps that the international community needs uh, to take, and I think our discussions are that much more pertinent given the adoption of Japan's new national security uh, strategy, which we welcome, and of course in light of Japan's chairmanship of the G7 uh, uh, this year. As a NATO member, as a member of the European Union, uh, we support the strengthening of relationships between Greece and NATO and Greece and the European Union. I think this is a mutually beneficial relationship, uh, Prime Minister. And on the war in Ukraine, we have fully supported Ukraine's independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity from the very beginning. And we're absolutely determined to stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes. We have one additional sensitivity, Prime Minister, when it comes to Ukraine. Uh, members of the Greek uh, community, Mariupol, who were amongst the first civilian victims during the very first days of the war. Uh, and it is uh, only to be expected that Greece, uh, as is Japan, we are both staunch supporters of such basic principles as the use of non-violence uh, and the inviolability of borders. International disputes need to be resolved um, uh, through um, uh, reference to uh, international law, uh, and we cannot uh, accept any unilateral change to a status quo through the use of force. Uh, we are firm believers in a rules-based international order where international law is respected and revisionist agendas are simply uh, uh, unacceptable. Uh, we will have a further opportunity uh, over dinner to discuss uh, uh, regional uh, challenges, uh, um, the situation that you uh, face regarding North Korea's Missile provocations uh, are uh, completely unacceptable. We agree that we remain firm in our condemnation of these uh, actions, and I will also have the opportunity uh, to brief the Prime Minister uh, on the situation in the Eastern uh, uh, Mediterranean and the unfortunate inflammatory rhetoric uh, and provocative actions uh, by uh, our neighbour, Turkey, which uh, undermine regional stability and, uh, and security. Uh, we will always, Prime Minister, keep uh, the window of dialogue uh, open, but uh, as a sovereign nation, we cannot accept uh, any threats uh, to our sovereignty and our sovereign rights. To sum up, um, uh, I'm particularly happy that my visit uh, is providing a new momentum to our bilateral uh, relations. Important agreements have been reached and signed. Uh, the most important enhancement uh, to our economic ties, of course, will be uh, the agreement on avoidance of double taxation. I think it is very realistic to expect that this agreement uh, will be signed uh, before uh, the end uh, uh, of, uh, of the year. Uh, and I believe that today we have laid the foundations uh, for a blossoming cooperation among like-minded strategic partners. I am confident that Greece and Japan will continue to work uh, together to fulfill the wishes of uh, our people for durable peace and prosperity. Tomorrow we'll have another series of meeting, meetings with key uh, business uh, uh, leaders and trade representatives. I will have uh, the pleasure of addressing students at Tokyo uh, University. And I would like again to thank you, Prime Minister, for this very warm uh, welcome. I would like to invite you um, uh, to Greece, to visit Greece, and to view uh, firsthand uh, our countries, my countries transformation um, uh, from a laggard within the European Union to a protagonist uh, and uh, to continue to take forward this important strategic partnership. Again, on behalf of our delegation, thank you very much for this warm welcome.